Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? In this video series, you're gonna learn all the basics of Firebase Firestore. So what is Firebase? Before I tell you what is Firebase, let me explain with an example why do we even need that. Suppose you are a front-end developer and you want to make a website like Amazon, which is an e-commerce platform. Building an e-commerce platform like Amazon is a complex task. It is more than just building beautiful UIs. You need to create a backend server, you need to have a database, you need to create a secure authentication system and so many other things. Creating and maintaining all of these things takes a lot of time and resource. Also it takes different sets of expertise for a front-end developer. So what if someone handles everything for you so that you can write less backend code and focus on more to the front-end? Well, this is where services like Firebase helps you out. Firebase is a backend service by Google. It gives you services like Cloud Firestore database, authentication system, real-time database, cloud functions, and so many other things. Firebase handles the backend so that you can focus more to the frontend. You can use Firebase not only for web applications, but iOS, Android, and other sorts of applications. Now, you might have heard about Google Cloud, which is an infrastructure service provided by Google. You might ask, what is the difference between Google Cloud and Firebase? Well, Firebase is built on top of the Google Cloud infrastructure. That means Firebase is just a part of Google Cloud. When you will use Firebase, you will be using Google Cloud behind the scene. When you will create a project on Firebase, you will be actually creating a project on Google Cloud. So that is the difference. Firebase is just a part of Google Cloud. Now like I've told you, Firebase gives you a lot of services, but we're not going to focus on all of them. We're going to only focus on Cloud Firestore. Cloud Firestore is a NoSQL database. There are many types of databases available, but the most famous are SQL databases and NoSQL databases. SQL databases are like this. In SQL database, you store data in tables, which are made of rows and columns. Tables can have relationship between each other. That's why it is also called relational database. And also SQL tables follow some kind of schema. A schema is just a structural representation of a chunk of data. In this case, this table. On the other hand, we have no SQL database. In NoSQL database, we don't store data in tables. Instead, we store data in key value pairs like JavaScript object. If you have experience with JavaScript object or maybe Python dictionaries, this might seem familiar to you. In JavaScript objects, we store data in key value pairs like this. Here users is the key and this array is the value. And we can also nest data types. For example, in this array, we have two objects. Inside this object, we have key value data. And then we have this lang key, which is storing an array of string. And if you are familiar with JSON, you might say, well, this looks like a JSON. Well, actually, NoSQL databases are kind of like JSON, but not entirely. In JSON, we follow some sort of rules. We have a restriction on data types. But a NoSQL database doesn't have to follow those rules and also it can store any kind of data types depending on the database. Firestore database supports most of the common data types like numbers, strings, booleans, arrays, objects and so on. In the next video, we're gonna see all of the supported data types. So let's understand document. A document is simply just a chunk of key value pair data. For example, we have this object like data. This data as a whole is called a document. And with multiple document, you can create a collection. And with bunch of collection, you create a database. Okay, so each of the Firestore database will be consist of collections and collection will be consist of document. Now inside document, you put nested collection, but we're not gonna cover them in this video series. So this is what we are going to cover in this video series. 
In this video, we have got an introduction to the Firebase and Firestore. In the next video, we are going to set up our project with React and Next.js. Then we will learn how to get documents, how to add new documents, delete documents, how to get real-time updates, how to update single documents, batch write documents, and how to query documents based on conditions. So you are going to learn a lot from this video series. So in the next video, we are going to set up our project. If you are interested, consider like this video and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss the video series. Alright, so I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.